Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. We are back again with our Galaxy Note 2 N7100. And we're going to be taking a look at a brand new ROM. It's pretty cool. It's got some nice theming. So let's fire it up and get started. Alright, so as this is booting up here, we'll talk about it a little bit. So this is the ESA Note NSS version 1.1. And uh, ESA is Spanish for that. Actually, this might be Italian. In the thread, you can read about how this is an Italian import. And they did a great job. Uh, it's brought to our device by senior member Solo Lime Jello is, <laughs> is actually what it looks like. I'm probably completely mispronouncing that, but that's what it looks like. Solo Lime Jello. You guys will have to check that out over on XDA and let me know if I'm completely uh, just butchering that name. But um, got a lot of cool stuff going on with this ROM. I've been using this for several days now and haven't had any issues with it. Battery life, maybe not the best, uh, but that's probably the kernel. It's running the Abyss kernel, but you have the option to install the stock kernel as well in the Aroma installer. So uh, maybe play around with both of those. Speaking of Aroma installer, you have a lot of choices in that. When you flash this ROM, you can choose a different modem. You can pick and choose the different apps that go into it. And as always, though, rooted, zip aligned, deodexed all the goodies that we uh, are used to so nothing really crazy exciting to talk about with this ROM uh, as far as the internal workings it's all been optimized it's very fast performance is great haven't had any problems like I said but the one thing we should talk about is the theming a lot of great theming you see these toggles up here at the top look like little switches that pop up and down when you turn one on, it clicks down and uh, turns off. Theme dialer here with a slight uh, light to dark gradient. Very nice. The settings menu here is really cool as well. With the section titles being split up and themed very nicely the developer has also moved all the performance settings and such down here at the bottom below the about phone uh, kind of threw me when I first jumped into settings here and I just immediately always scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm like oh wait about phones not there where is it where is it where is it oh here it is so <laughs> threw me for a loop there. Uh, you see this is the 4.1.2 Android version. This is built on DMA6 firmware from Samsung based out of France. Put some nice information down here. Uh, one thing I will point out in the SN Note updates and extras you get a lot of options here you can take a look at but in the fix update you will find the live wallpaper fix so just download that and flash it like you would a uh, flashing a ROM and that will fix the live wallpaper you don't have live wallpapers right out of the gate so that was nice that they provided a fix for that Another cool thing to mention here is these buttons up at the top in the status bar. You have a home button here. Take you back to where, uh, let's see, we'll jump into the dialer here and then hit our home button. Takes us right back. You also have a screen off button. We'll turn your screen off. And you notice you have the CRT off animation so that's nice look at that 
preparing SD card. I've gotten that every single time, just about every time I unlock the device. It won't happen right now. See, it pops right back on and uh, gives me that. But let's see if we can recreate it. Turn it off, and I usually wait a few seconds here and then turn it back on. I'll do a cut here so I won't have to, you guys won't have to sit here and watch the blank screen. Alright, it's been about 20 seconds and I'm going to push the button and you'll see that there's a delay. The screen doesn't come on right away. And then I get that uh, preparing SD card notification. So I don't know if that's the ROM or that's something going on with my device individually. Maybe you guys could check it out and uh, let me know. So here we go, I'm going to push the button right now. Uh, I didn't get it, but it doesn't happen every time. So, I don't know. We'll see. You guys let me know. I, I, I'll read the comments over on the thread and see if anybody else is having this issue. And uh, if not, or I should say if they are, I will put a note down below in the description. But that's about it, guys. All in all, just a really solid ROM. S Pen functionality works great, no problem. Let's run a quadrant. I haven't done that in a while. Let's make sure everything is turned off here. And we'll even go in and clear our memory. Clear our RAM. Run benchmark. We'll see what kind of score we get. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not a good sign right there. Let's try that again. All right. It worked that time. <laughs> All right. So we'll, uh, we'll be right back and check out a score. All right. Let's take a look at the score. 69.32. So very nice quadrant score there for this ROM and this uh, kernel. Keep doing that little uh, sidebar thing and I'll, uh, I'll do a video on that here soon. Great looking ROM uh, as far as theming. Really, really love all that. And uh, the settings menu down here looks really cool. You can also go in and take a look at the window theming here and you see the little toggles are carried throughout so great job on this ROM guys as always I will put a link to it where you can find it over on XDA while you're over there be sure to thank the developer and maybe hit him up with a donation these guys work really hard as always we uh, they deserve our support providing these great ROMs for us to play around with and if you're also messing around on the old internet and you're looking for something to do, feel free to jump right over. Check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. As always, guys, this is Sam. I'll see you next time.